everyone, I am Christy, the Ravenclaw Collector. Today is Tuesday, October 13th. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Um, hi, hello, welcome to my brand new channel. Um, I am the Ravenclaw Collector. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I am a Ravenclaw. Um, and I collect Harry Potter things. I have a mandrake root there. I have uh, some fungal pops right there. A Deathly Hollows lamp. A few more Harry Potter stuff. More Harry Potter stuff. Way more Harry Potter stuff. And that's just some of my Harry Potter stuff. Um, <laughs> a huge, um, like I said, huge um, Harry Potter fan. I do have my wands right here in the box. I do have a display there uh, to hold my wands. I currently don't have my wands in there. They're in the boxes. I have Luna Logoods and Hermione right there. And yes, that's Professor Snape. Um, yeah, uh, I, I have a lot of Harry Potter stuff. I collect Harry Potter um, stuff. I just kind of started collecting Harry Potter about two years ago. Yeah, I think it was two years ago. Um, it started with the Lego sets. The Lego sets that came out in 2018. Um, my husband's a huge Lego guy. Um, he's been collecting Legos since he was 12. Um, really been into Legos. Um, we're military. We are stationed currently in Houston. We used to live in Camp Pendleton, um, which we live like 10, 15 minutes away from Legoland. Um, so we got a lot of Lego sets from there. But when we moved here, <clears throat> that's when they started coming out with all the new Harry Potter Lego sets. Or coming out again because um it looks like lego started uh, coming out with some harry potter sets when the movies came out and as they were coming out and what happens with most toys is they they rush to get the toys out there with the movies that you know things don't look quite the same or not as good i am so happy that legos decided to go back and remake um the Lego sets and be a little more accurate <laughs> with the Lego sets and I am so happy the way they came out. All the Lego sets and the little figures look so much better. They actually look like the characters are supposed to be um, where the other ones were a little bit off. Um, <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I have all those Lego sets, all of them um, from 2018, 2019 and some of the 2020, um, which I have here today. I have a bunch of them, not all of them from 2020. Um, I do have another channel called the Ray Claw Stitcher where I mostly talk about cross stitch, but I had a bunch of videos on there, um, with all the Lego sets. I did time lapse build on all the Lego sets of the Harry Potter ones. Um, I don't know how to transfer those videos over if I ever figure it out eventually. All those videos will be, um, seen on this one. Um, any future time lapse videos I do on these Lego sets will be in this channel. I'm, I'm no longer doing it on that channel. I want to keep that one strictly cross stitch where this one is mostly just Harry Potter stuff. Um, if I, I do cross stitch, if you don't know what that is, it's, um, fabric thread and you just go up and down. Um, I do a lot of, uh, Harry Potter related cross stitch. Um, so if I ever do anything like that, I will show you on here and I'll, I'll show those pieces on both channels. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I don't, well, well, I like I have a current one that I'm doing right now. So, um, this is supposed to be me. Um, original charts are supposed to be, um, Hermione and Harry. So I'm redoing them. So I'm going to put my head on this body, but I'm changing the robes colors. So there'll be, um, the Ravenclaw robes. So Raven Ravenclaw Quidditch robes and then Ravenclaw um, house robes. So this one, I'm almost done with the hair. I haven't started on the clothes on this one yet, but this one will be the Quidditch and then the broom will be right here. This one, you can already tell I started doing the um, Ravenclaw colored um, uh, clothing there. So um, hopefully in the future, these uh, cross stitch of me <laughs> will be somewhere in the background where you can see it in my future videos. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, yeah. Um, why don't we get to it? Um, well, first of all, I'll go ahead and talk about this. This is my brand new jacket. I got it last week from Hot Topic. Um, Ravenclaw, they do have all of the other, um, uh, house robes. Well, from what I saw, um, they had them on different house, um, uh, you know, the Hufflepuff, Slytherin, 
Gryffindor, all that. Um, I'm a Ravenclaw. I only get Ravenclaw. Um, anytime you see me in my videos, I'll wear a shirt of Harry Potter, most likely it'll be Ravenclaw, or a sweater. I have three Ravenclaw sweaters, um, house sweaters. Um, between that and my Harry Potter uh, jackets and sweaters, um, that's what you'll see me wearing on this channel. <laughs> um, just to do some um, a little disclosure, I am not sponsored at all. Um, none of my videos have ever been monetized as of this point. Um, my other channel is very small. I only have about 200, less than 200 subscribers. Um, so I am not making any money off my videos. Um, these are mostly just for me to share. Um, I will kind of give some reviews and my point of views on some of these items. All of it is 100% my own. I am not sponsored by anyone. None of these things were sent to me for uh, free by anyone. Um, 100% sponsored by my husband. <laughs> He's the one who paid for all this because I'm a stay at home mom and I don't work. Um, so yeah. So in case you're wondering, yeah, I I'm not sponsored by anyone. Um, here I have my Harry Potter. This is how it came in the mail. Well, it came with the, another box on top of it. But this is the Build-A-Bear Workshop Harry Potter, um, um, Harry Potter Bear. Um, when I purchased this, I bought it the day it was released online. I'm not even sure if it's in the stores. Um, yeah, I do go to Build-A-Bear quite a bit. Um, my kids, I have three kids. <laughs> they all each get Build-A-Bear. My husband always asks me, are you going to get one? I'm like, eh, no, no, no. This time I had to get one because it's Harry Potter Build-A-Bear. Are you kidding me? It came out, they came out with house robes. Are you serious? Like, really? Um, so when it came out online, I went in to try to order it. Um, they told me, um, you have to submit your email and we'll let you know when it's your turn to order. So I did that within minutes. I got an email saying, okay, it's your turn to order. Click on this link. And I went on the link. I uh, went in and I ordered this. Uh, I only got the one, um, Ravenclaw because that's the only one I care about. Um, apparently the bottoms, the skirt and pants are sold separately. Did not know that. Um, they had some shoe options, which I didn't know about that either. And the wands are also sold separately. Um, I was just so excited to get this that I didn't really care about the other stuff. Um, soon, eventually, I'll go back and order the skirt and wand. I'm not sure about the shoes. Let me show you why. Um, I already put the clothes on them. I also got the um, the scarf. I do have a Ravenclaw scarf myself. Um, the robes are very nice. Uh, Ravenclaw there, Ravenclaw there. And um, does this open? Yes, it does. There's a little Ravenclaw jacket or sweater. Um, so this bear is pantless. Um, she will be getting a skirt soon. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get her a skirt as well as I need to get her a stand so I can have her sitting somewhere in the background. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get her shoes because if you look here, it says Harry Potter and right there has a Hogwarts crest. So I'm not sure if I want to get her shoes. I, I think I kind of want those to stay. Unless if the stand has her standing up then I might get shoes. I don't know yet. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, she is missing a wand. She needs a wand. Okay, I know. <laughs> I did go to Universal Studios Hollywood um, in California the day they opened up Hogwarts and I bought the robe. I have the robe. Um, I bought this jacket because the robe, I only wear it for Halloween. I don't wear it just like for any other reason. Um, paid a lot of money for it so <laughs> so this jacket is very similar to the Hogwarts robes um but it's more of an everyday use which um yeah I will use every day um yeah <laughs> um I do well I kind of have a sweater kind of looks like that um so happy with this love it so soft super super soft um I love Build-A-Bear I, I love Build-A-Bear it's just you know I rather buy Build-A-Bear for my kids than for myself until now <laughs> so super happy about that I wish I would have known that the skirt was an option at the time I purchased this um I just I don't know maybe I was too excited to buy it that I didn't even see it or try to look for it or even notice that um I didn't buy it like I don't know I don't know what happened but 
at least I have the bear for now. Um, I kind of have to hide that back there because um, my husband doesn't know that I bought it. <laughs> Even though he paid for it, um, he doesn't see the bills. So um, that'll be our little secret for now. Uh, eventually, I'll put it out somewhere and have it kind of displayed. I'm sorry, I have hiccups now. <sighs> um eventually he'll see it but um as of right now he's not gonna see it um okay this is my banjo fruit um i saw this at barnes and nobles and I had to get it um yeah you pull the magic up it shakes it screams it yells and it doesn't stop until you put him back in my youngest he's five he loves this thing he thinks it's hilarious and he tries to make that same noise <laughs> until I hug him and then he stops. Um, but yeah, I had to get this. This I absolutely love it. And it goes right there. <laughs> I had a weird, I had it up higher before, but my son keeps wanting to get it and play with it. So I had to bring it down for him. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm sorry, my desk is like a total mess. I got a few other projects I'm working on. Um, I know this is not Harry Potter, but still, drink up, witches. It's it's almost ten in the morning. Um, this is my coffee. This is my breakfast. There. <clears throat> Okay, so yesterday we went to the mall and they had um, a store called It's Sugar. I don't think every mall has that store. But um, my kids wanted to go take a look. Of course they did. Um, and they each got a candy and I saw this and I had to get it for myself. It is um, chocolate, milk chocolate with Rice Krispies. Which, you know, it's the Hogwarts Express ticket. Um... I actually stitched one of these. I stitched it and it looks just like this. Um, I probably will show you my cross stitch <laughs> in the future. Um, all my Harry Potter really is cross stitch. Um, but yeah, I saw this and I had to get it. I don't know if I want to eat the chocolate though. Like, I, I feel like I can't open it. Kind of want to open it because I love chocolate, but I feel like I can't. I have to keep it like this forever. Um, I do have. Oh, you can't see it up there. But somewhere up here, I have my Butterbeer cup from uh, Universal Studios. And I have um, um, the jelly beans. Or what are they called? The Burt's Box of Every Flavor Bean. It's in there. Um, and I never opened that one either. So I might have to put that with that one. Um, and yes, that is Salazar Slytherin. That's the little card I got for my chocolate frog. <clears throat> This I also got from the candy store yesterday. It's a uh, Ravenclaw jelly beans. It's just regular jelly beans, blue ones. But I love the tin. I love the little Ravenclaw tin. So, <laughs> yeah. I might eat those jelly beans though. Um, I went to um, a swap meet um, and I found this. Someone's selling it. I do open up all my Funko Pops. I know if you are a Funko Pop collector, you're like, no. But really, I don't care about the, like, depreciating the value or whatever. I, I take out my, my Funko Pops and I put them on display. Um, the bottom row is Harry Potter. The second row is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then this one is mostly the Yule Ball uh, Funko Pops that just came out not too long ago. Um, yeah, so I don't really care about saving the boxes. This is my set. I'm never gonna get rid of it. And the box in the trash. So this one apparently is very interesting. Um, I do not have curl curl yet. Um, <laughs> let me see. I was told this comes off. This comes off. Oh my god! Yikes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Voldemort and Professor Curl. 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 I don't think I'm saying the same right. Oh my god, that is weird. Okay. 
Yeah. I almost didn't want to get this until the guy told me that you can take off the turban and see um, Voldemort. I was like, what? Um, do I have Voldemort? Um, yeah, Voldemort's right there. Right next to the Death Eater. Or not the Death Eater. The, um, there's Voldemort there. There's, um, oh my god, my mind went blank. <sighs> the second time today this happened. Um, Dementor. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mind goes blank every once in a while. Um, eventually, I'll go through all my Funko Pops and show you everything that I have. But for now, I'm just showing you my new Funko Pops I just got. So there's my Professor Pearl. Um, and this Hagrid's hut. Um, my husband saw this at um, uh, GameStop. And he called me. He was like, hey, do you have this one yet? And I was like, no, I don't. He was like, okay, I'll get it for you. I was like, okay. <laughs> there's Fang. And Hag Hagrid's hut. So I do have a few other large um, Funkos up there. Some of them you can't. I have too much junk right here, so you can't see it. Um, up behind the Hogwarts Express is Harry versus Voldemort, um, where they're fighting and their two um, uh, wands meet in the graveyard scene. That's what that one is. Um, yeah. Okay. So I do have the Hogwarts, the big giant um, um, Lego set that came out in 2018, was it? Um, but there was other sets that came out uh, that same year where you put them together and it makes another um, Hogwarts set. Um, so one of them was um, the clock tower and the other one was the great hall. Um, both of them are in that big Lego set, but those two separate ones, if you put them together, it's kind of the, almost the same as a big Lego set. This one, I think, also goes with those two to make a bigger set just because you can see them right here. There's one here. I think this is the great hall. This looks like the great hall uh, Lego set. And this one is a clock tower set. So I am wondering if this um, astronomy tower goes with those two sets and make them bigger. Um, I think if you did all that, these would probably be equal to the large Harry Potter or the the large hard, the large Hogwarts set. I can't talk. I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, um, I'm kind of curious about that. I used to have all my Lego sets on these shelves up here. Um, but we're moving, we're military, my husband's military, um, we'll, we're moving in May, and I had them displayed <laughs> in my craft room for the last two years, um, but a few months ago, I took everything down and started putting everything away, um, in order to get ready for the move, um, so, as of right now, we don't know where we're going next, where our next duty station is, um, so even if I put these together, this one together, I can't put it with the other ones until after we move and, um, I, I get all the Lego pieces out and remake them. Um, if I ever remake them, I'll do a time-lapse video and post it on this channel as well. Um, but yeah, um, but if they do kind of fit together or if you have these sets and if you know that they do go together or not, let me know. Like, it looks like it could, whoops, sorry, my bad. Um, <clears throat> Like, it looks like it could be, because some of the Lego sets, they have these little things here. Which means you can attach the other Lego sets to it. Um, my husband's really big into Legos. Me, I, I'm kind of, well, I'm only into the Harry Potter ones. But I've kind of put enough Lego sets together to know that when you have these little holes here, looks like they're down here too. And then these holes here too, it means you can attach another piece to it. Like they're, they're kind of like um, modular sets that you can attach together. Um, so I'm thinking that's what it is. Is it? I don't know. I, I need to look in more into that and see if that is what it is. Um, but anyways, this Lego set in particular, um, it looks like you can have the um, Slughorn Christmas party. There's Slughorn there with Luna Lovegood in her uh, Christmas dress. Um there's Neville, there is Ron, Hermione, Harry, Malfoy, Longbottom, Lovegood, uh, Lavender Brown, um, and Slughorn. 
And then in here, it has the astronomy tower where Dumbledore was killed. Um, and it looks like the Herbology um, greenhouse and uh, Slughorn's office. This looks like Slughorn's office here. This is a Ravenclaw's um, um, dormitory. And this looks like the potions class. I'm really looking forward. Well, I won't be saying that a lot. I'm really looking forward to putting it together, but I really am. I really am. So that's one Lego set. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Lego sets. So this one is the burrow. This is the Weasley home. Um, in the books, it was described as a oh, structure that was only held up by mag magic, but it looks like it was only held up by magic. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a scene where Bellatrix and um, Greyback attack the Weasley home. So you got Bellatrix, Greyback, and um, Tonks. Uh, Arthur Weasley, Molly Weasley, Ron, Jenny, and Harry. <sighs> yeah, and it has a lot of detail. There's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff. Um, I'm kind of happy with all the details they, they put in here. Because, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Weasley home. In the books and the movies. Um, <clears throat> one thing I think is kind of cool is they have this little setup here. It's little flames. And they look to be going back and forth. Like there's a, somehow, um, I think there's one thing. Okay, no. They, they just, the flames move back and forth. Oh, and then this thing turns. So you have a regular fireplace and then you have the flu powder. The flu network. Um, so yeah. I, I like the attention to details that Lego's got this time around. Um, <clears throat> okay, this set I need to do it soon because my husband threatened to, to open it up and do it himself. <laughs> like, my husband loves these kind of Lego sets where, um, you have the little crank and it moves. So this, the wings go up and down. Um, I will do a video on this, um, more review and then I'm um, showing you how the wings flap up and down stuff, um, eventually. Um, but yeah, this is very, very cool. And it also does come with a little um, Harry and Hedwig. So link forward to that one. Link forward to the animals. Um, okay, the advent calendar. Um, I did the advent calendar from last year. Um, this one looks pretty cool too. <laughs> um, side note, this is $39.99 at Target and at, um, um, what's it called? Legos.com. So let me just have my tripod. Yeah. So $39.99 Lego.com and Target. I got this for $20.99, $10 less at Walmart, um, in case you're interested. Um, normally all the stores usually typically have the same price for most of the Legos. Um, I'm not sure why Walmart was a little bit cheaper. Um, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> so far, just looking at this, um, I'm seeing a bunch of new different things. Uh, first off, it does look like it's the U ball. Like everything on here is a U ball, even like that tells you U ball. Um, but the mic, um, the, is that, is that the gramophone? Is that what it's called? Something phone. I know something phone. I don't know if that was it or not. Um, the little presents that go under the tree are different this time. Um, they were a little bit different than the ones that were, um, in the advent calendar last year. Um, so much stuff. There's a fireplace, um, that's, um, a stocking. Um, it looks like different things. So I'm really looking forward to doing this and it does open up. So here are the little doors. You can open each one up. I know you're supposed to do one a day. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> And um, whenever I do do this, um, I don't think I'll do a time lapse video, but I'll definitely show you everything. Um,
And I'll, I'll let you know when I do it. So if you're wanting to do this and you're doing it like you're supposed to and not like me doing it all at once, um, I'll let you know if there's any spoilers <clears throat> so you don't accidentally watch that. Um, okay, this, out of all the sets I have here, this is the only one that's from 2019. This was the last set I needed from 2019. I had all of the other sets. Um, so this is the very last one I needed. Now I got them all from 2019. Um, all the other ones you'll see here are from 2020. Um, yeah. So with this set, my husband was really excited about this little brick here. It lights up and it's in the fireplace. There is a fireplace. Yeah, there's a fireplace. And it lights up. Um, so this, I really do like it. It's kind of really accurate with the, the movie, um, with the, the pumpkin patch and um, the buggy. So first thoughts, um, I'm very happy with it. Very pleased. Um, very accurate. <laughs> this one, um, number four, Perfect Drive. This is, of course, Harry Potter's aunt's house um, and uncle. I am very disappointed with this piece because the twins are supposed to be in the car and they're not on here. Not happy with that. <laughs> That's my only complaint so far with this. Um, but we do have Harry trying to escape and Ron in the car trying to help him. The twins are supposed to be there helping him. Um, in the book, the twins actually go downstairs um, and get his trunk and broom and um, they help Hedwig uh, through the window. So Hedwig's not even in the cage here. Uh, there is Dobie, the, um, the cake that uh, his aunt made. Um, it does have a cute little slot here where all the little envelopes go and they fly through the um, fireplace. And there seems to be, like right here underneath the stairs, um, Harry's old room <laughs> underneath the stairs um so i kind of like some of the details they have here um i kind of wish they had the twins too <laughs> okay and i think this is the last lego set i have for today um this is the room of requirements where they're practicing the patronus um Hermione's Patronus is the Otter, and Lovegood's uh, Patronus is the Bunny. Um, not sure why it's a Bunny, but um, for Hermione, Otter is part of the the Weasel family, we Weasel Weasleys. Yeah, um, that's right, right? Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So this is a small set. Um. The last time I did set about this big, it took me like about 20 minutes to put it together. It's very quick, easy. Um, these are a lot cheaper than the bigger Lego sets, um, in case you were wondering. Um, I don't remember the exact price that I paid for all these. The event calendar, I do remember because I was checking prices on those. But all the other ones, don't ask me what the prices were. I, I totally forgot for those. Um, so here it looks like if you pushed on the fireplace on this side, and knocks down the proclamations on the other side. And then this door kind of slides to kind of hide the room requirement and then opens up for um, the kids so they can practice. Yeah. And it's a cute little set. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, I got more uh, Funko Pops um, for my collection. Okay, so I don't have Sirius Black yet. I have to double check. <laughs> so Sirius Black in his um, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban uniform with the, his numbers, his prison numbers. I wonder if you saw Prison Mike in Azkaban. <laughs> if you've seen The Office, you know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so... Uh, right there, I have Tom Riddle, but that's like a regular full color Tom Riddle, right? Yeah, this one is um, the memory Tom Riddle. So this is um, where he's like the black and white. 
So I have the one of him full color and then the one black and white. And the last one that I have here is her. <laughs> I was kind of reluctant to buy this. I didn't really want to get it, but I think I kind of had to. Not that anyone wants her, I guess, but Dolores Umbridge. The most evil person in uh, the Harry Potter series. <laughs> More so than uh, Voldemort. Uh, okay. And this is the very, very, very last Harry Potter thing I have to show you today. Um, after this, this video is pretty much done. Yep. I got Dobie. It's a big one. And he's going to go up. I have the large uh, headwig up there. So he's going to go hang out with him. And they're going to just kind of hang out together. Um, cause sadly they both died in the same book, right? Right. Yeah. In the same book, they, they both died. So, um, yeah, that's all my Lego sets I have. My Lego, um, and Harry Potter things. Um, I do have a lot. Um, this is just stuff I kind of accumulated in the last month. No, two months. Last two months, this is the stuff I cum accumulated. Um, so I have a lot of Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> Some of it I already started packing away. Um, Funko Pops, I started collecting those about two years ago. So I don't have that many. I know there's a lot more Harry Potter uh, Funko Pops out there. Um, I try my best not to collect the same characters twice. Um, unless there's a specific reason. Um, yeah, like I only have one Hermione, but the one I have up there, it's, she has the, the cat head. Um, I do have two Professor Snapes. I have a regular Professor Snape here, and I have one up there with um, his Yule Ball attire. Um, so everyone on this top one is Yule Ball, um, except for um, Trelawney. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why she came out in that series. Um, but she's there. <laughs> um, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Um, they're right here. I don't know how many Fantastic Beasts, um, fungos there are, but I got some of them. Um, yeah, I, I, I try to get at least one of each character. I got the two, uh, Weasley twins. I got Cho Chang, uh, Richter Crumb, Fleur Delcor, um, Cedric Diggory, uh, Nymphador Tonks, um, I have two of, uh, Hagrid's ones, he's wearing, he's holding his pink umbrella, the other one he's holding the cake, I have Ron on that chess piece, um, I have all three of the, um, Hogwarts Express there, I have, um, Harry trying to run into the, um, the nine and three quarters wall, um, and I think that's it. Oh, I have a Patronus back there behind the Mandrick. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for today to show you. Um, th this has been a quite a big haul. Um, I don't know when I will do these videos again. Um, but yeah, if I ever put my Lego sets together, I will show you. Um, I'll, I'll put those videos on this channel. So in case you're interested and you want to check those out, um, yeah, just subscribe and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. Um, I, I'm not going to guarantee it's going to be in a month or two. It might be longer than that. Um, I do have an Etsy store uh, where I'm selling a few things. Um, some things that are coming out soon are keychains. Um, I put a magnet on this because I'm using it as a needle minder for my, my cross stitch stuff. But this is actually supposed to be keychain. Um, and I have quite a few of them coming out soon. I have Luna's um, glasses. I have um deathly hollow i have um the sorting hat and there's something else too oh the snitch so i have all those um they're gonna be keychains or they're gonna have i'm gonna have options on there so if you want a keychain i do have keychains that i can add to it um if you're looking for some of the specific uh specific color just let me know um send me a message um and I can try to make them. I, I made these myself. 
these are resins I made myself. I have the mold. I can do any color I want. Um, it takes me about 48 hours. I am currently don't have anything listed as like a custom order, but I can definitely do some of these in different colors um, and have them listed on there for you. Um, and I have at least three molds of each. Um, so if you're looking for a specific color, I'll make um, probably three of them. So um, I'll let you know as soon as they're for sale. Uh, so hopefully you can get one. Um, <clears throat> a lot of this coming soon, very, very soon, um, to my Etsy shop. So link will be in the description box below in case you're curious on that. Um, if you want to look at the other Lego stuff um, that I have currently, it's on my other channel. I don't know how to switch those videos to this channel. So, um, I'll try to put the playlist in this channel so you can go look at my playlist and, um, uh, find those, um, uh, YouTube videos. Um, I think that's all I can do for now. Um, but yeah, a link will be in the description box below if you do want to look at this playlist of my Harry Potter stuff. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I know I've been rambling for 30 minutes now. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.